midweek we are modifying the Santa Cruz Nomad behind me with some new forks and later on in this video we'll be giving away some Fox 40s with bars and a stem. Oh my god! Oh. 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 going to be a pretty incredible giveaway. Make sure you stick around to find out how you can win these. But before we get started today, I wanted to include some vision line goodness. Vision line's quite steezy. Oh my god. Oh! So, before we get into the giveaway, and last but not least, the actual video today, which is putting on some forks that I've purchased off Pink Bike. Um, new stem, which is a black Berg Tech stem. I wanted to give you a little update on the back garden, which is Mainland Bike Park. Check it. Before we get back to the Nomad, installing finally the final forks for the bike, I wanted to do a quick little bike park update um i know a lot of you are patiently waiting for the berm to be installed at mainland bike park um basically i've been trying to dry out the wood so i could actually session properly the features and see where i want to go with the line um obviously a lot of people have commented in the past to put chicken wire on the um surface of the wood which is basically long story short it's this type of stuff which is like mesh that goes on um, the bushes to stop the dogs getting out the garden. Anyhow, I've been trying to avoid putting that stuff on just because it's not the best texture, even though it is grippy. It is probably where we're gonna go with the bike park at this point, but this is pretty funny. I went out and I bought a shed load of tarps, put them all over the first section of the line. So down here, straight into tarps, all the way over this one and onto the next one. I then came out, it's been under tarps for three days since you last watched the video, and it is still totally, even though it doesn't look it, it's like really, really, really slippy and wet, ice cold. I found even under the tarps, the wood still stays wet. As you can see, it's absolutely soaking wet. Um, so I am having a bit of a nightmare over here, actually. Bear with me, the burn video will be up this weekend. Any ideas on keeping the ramps dry, I would be really, really hyped for any input. And anywhere I can buy a hell of a lot of chicken wire, drop a link or something, or let me know where you would go for it. It is gonna be awesome. We are getting that much closer. And even if I've just got something in the summer that I can ride daily, that'll be incredible. Let's head back inside. Let's fix the Nomad. Peace. The next interesting phase of today's video is this is a Fox 40s sticker colorway inspired t shirt. All you have to do to be entered into the giveaway to win these forks, it's this simple. Go on ownerofficial.com, link is in the description to this shirt. This is the 200 shirt, meaning 200 mil travel. Basically, anybody who buys one of these in the next seven days. Doesn't matter if you add other products to your basket, it doesn't matter if you just buy this. Basically, you'll get the t-shirt, which is a pretty awesome t-shirt for 20 quid, and you are entered into the chance of being the one lucky winner that is gonna be sent these forks. Actually, a second thought, I must say that they are actually only 180 mil travel, not 200, but I don't think it's really expensive to change them back to 200 um, or you could put them on something that's 180 like an e-bike or like an enduro bike make it an enduro downhill it's your call but to be honest they haven't really been used and there's no marks at all on the sanctions as well so it is a pretty good deal now let's get straight on to today's modifications so i went to manchester and bought these forks that i'm about to install on the nomad Check the video. Slightly different video right now. It is 25 to midnight, very dark outside. And I'm about to set off to Manchester because I've just looked on Pink Bike and found a set of forks for 400 pounds for the Santa Cruz Nomad. Kashima 36s, 170 mil. Um, this is my forks. 
Just for clarification, you realise this is super sketch. Basically, the person I'm trying to buy the forks off thinks it's mad that we're going at midnight, but I want to put them on the bike tomorrow because the nomad sat there with no forks because the forks went on the e-bike. We've even been absolutely shafted. Or oh, he's going to show up any minute with me forks. Check it out! The nomad forks. It is half past midnight and this is how we roll. I'll see you back at home. So I've attached the front brake, as you can see, down there. But basically I wanted to show the condition of these for £400. They're actually in really, really, really clean condition. They're 100 and they're 170 mil travel, which is what the Nomad comes standard. Um, but basically, I had 180s on, but I took them off this and put them back on the e-bike. And now we are left with these bad boys off pink bike for £400. Awesome. Super excited actually about changing the e-bike back to um, 170 mil travel. I feel like it feels a little bit more playful from a man of my size. Um, I'm actually installing blue... Um, a blue top cap and the like spacer thing that comes with the top cap bolt. Basically both of them are going in blue which will match the Kashima sanctions where they're blue at the top. Um, I'm also installing a Bergtech Freerider stem, I think it's oh no, a Bergtech Mark II stem. Basically in 35mm reach which is nice and short, that's basically going on today as well. Without any further delays. Let's go. So the first thing I've got to do, I've already put the cable on. I'm not going to be able to do the brake today. And the reason why is because I don't have a spacer that goes on the brake, the brake setup. Okay. So we actually got Somewhere then, there you go. <laughs> Headset is going on right now. Spaces going on right now. And last but not least, I'm not sure how long the steer tube's gonna be, so I'm gonna actually Bring you closer and oh, it's actually okay. The top's kind of in the right place where we want it for not obviously having it sticking out the top. We're gonna pull. Blue bolt looks quite cool. Check that out. That's basically a representation of the matching blue, which is quite cool from the top of the forks with the top cap. I have actually got a blue stem, but I've put it on the chameleon off Berg Tech because I just think the black looks cool on the Nomad with the little coloured feature bits. Anyways, I'm going to tighten this bad boy up, we'll put the bars on and we'll be right back to take a look. I think this bit is going to be the bit that's like probably the best part of today's video, which is actually where we see if the forks kind of sit at the nice height and if they function correctly. Obviously I haven't been able to put these on a bike and try them out, so I'm hoping now they actually bounce nice. I'm not sure how much air pressure is in them or anything like that. The guy who's solving them seems like a really decent dude, so I'm guessing that they are probably in pretty good condition. He kind of seems like a sick rider as well. Okay. How are they? Oh wow, I feel sick. No way. Check that out. All Kashima up back on the Nomad. I'm really hyped on that actually. Four mil. Get it nice and straight. And then we have a winner. I actually can't believe I got them for 400 pound. No way. The beast is back at 170. In fact, it's not back at 170 because it's never been 170. It's only ever been. Whoop. It's only ever been 180, which is soon to be yours, if you get the 200 shirt. It actually looks like it sits quite nice. There's not a mark on them. And if you ask me, I would say they seem like they were a pretty good deal 
for £400 on pink bike. Sick. <laughs> the Nomad is up and running. I haven't put the the, I haven't put the disc on the bottom because I don't have like a, a spacer. I hope it now makes sense why I put the black RockShox forks back on the e-bike because I knew that I was going to get 170 Kashimas for the Nomad. I'm excited to try it at 170 and I'm excited to see how many people enter the 200 giveaway. Smash the like button, make sure you check out ownerofficial.com and yeah, it's going to be quite cool. The forks don't really owe me anything. Over the years, the um, the YouTube channels obviously helped pay for the YT, which is originally where I got the 40s from. Um, I'm just kind of using the giveaway as a marketing exercise to be able to show the quality of the new stuff that we're making, which I think will be quite cool for the brand and quite cool for the winner. Quite cool for everybody who doesn't win and still gets a sick t-shirt for 20 quid. Why not? Make sure you smash the like button for me. Make sure you tune back in at the weekend to see me building the berm. And that's all. Peace out.